before you buy a new device for yourself or a loved one this holiday season, you need to watch this video. I'm gonna walk you through the best deals from AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon to help you save the most money. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out. Let's go. Okay, right off the bat, you do need to know that you can technically get a free phone with Verizon, T-Mobile, and AT&T, but there are some specific qualifications for each of them. So let's go over AT&T first to see how you can get a free or heavily discounted iPhone 14 Pro or Pro Max. <music> For AT&T, this is a great deal if you're already on AT&T and on one of their higher tiered plans that cost $75 a month or more. To get the free iPhone 14, you're just gonna need to be on an installment plan when you buy the new iPhone 14, be on a $75 or more plan per month, and then trade in an eligible smartphone. And bada bing, bada boom, you have got a free iPhone 14. The catch here is that the installment plan is 36 months, so three years, which can be kind of expensive, but if you don't wanna pay a lot of money up front, you wanna save money in the short term, then this is definitely the way to go. Let's move on to T-Mobile now. I don't like T-Mobile's deals as much because it requires that you add a new line. And the only way I could suggest this offer is if you're looking to switch to T-Mobile. And if that's you, then great. There are some great deals. The other option might be if you're looking to add a new line for one of your children opening up a line or grandma and grandpa are joining your family plan or somehow you're trying to add a line to your account. Otherwise, this is for switching. But when you add a new line on T-Mobile and you sign up for a 24 month installment plan and trade in an old device, you will get the iPhone 14 for free. So not too shabby. You also have to be on a qualifying plan. That's generally magenta max at $85 a month, which makes this not the best deal, not the best bang for your buck, but again, will save you money in the short term if you don't wanna pay a large amount of money upfront to buy the phone. This will be spread out over two years and free altogether. Another deal from T-Mobile is half off the iPhone 14 when you just trade in your old phone. You don't need to open up a specific line on a specific plan. You don't even need to add a line, but you do have to trade in a phone and you only get a maximum of $400, where with other carriers, when you do this, specifically AT&T, would get a free one. So again, I can't really recommend this unless you are already on T-Mobile and want to stay with T-Mobile, then this might be a great deal for you. Lastly, this is a BOGO deal. So BOGO is buy one, get one, except for it's not a full get one free. You're only going to get $700 off the second device, which would leave a little bit of money to pay after the fact. But if you want to open up two new lines on T-Mobile, you can buy one, get one $700 off, which is a decent deal. Honestly, T-Mobile's deals are the worst of all of them. I don't recommend them. Would highly recommend going with AT&T or Verizon. And speaking of Verizon, let's take a look at their deals, which generally speaking are kind of expensive because Verizon plans are really expensive. But right now the iPhone deals are the best over T-Mobile and AT&T. So we'll take a look at those. said it a million times in this video, but these Verizon iPhone deals are pretty darn good, not only for how much you get for the trade-in, but also for the fact that Verizon lets you trade in damaged phones and still get the exact same amount for a brand new phone that you're trading in. So let's break this deal down. You can save up to $1,000 on any new iPhone 14 device. When you trade in your old phone, it could be damaged and you sign up for a select unlimited plan. Now those plans are gonna be $80 a month or more for a single line and the more lines you add, the cost goes down. But AT&T is only offering 800 off and T-Mobile's not even offering that much off. So $1,000 is pretty good to go towards a new iPhone purchase. On top of that, when you switch, Verizon's just gonna give you a $200 gift card. MasterCard when you switch as well, giving you up to $1,200 in savings. So if you're looking to switch carriers, you've been thinking about Verizon, maybe you have a few people to sign up for a family plan, then this is a really good deal for everyone in the family to get a heavily discounted or free iPhone. A second deal for families is gonna be BOGO, buy one, get one. So this will get you a free iPhone 14 or a heavily discounted Pro or Pro Max. When you switch to Verizon and get two iPhones, you're gonna get $800 off. Again though, Verizon's gonna give you a $200 MasterCard gift card when you switch, giving you a savings of up to $1,000, which is again, really 
really great compared to the other major carriers. Keeping in mind, both these deals require you to sign up for a lengthy installment plan that is 36 months or three years. So you will be locked in for that amount of time. Not my favorite. I generally like to buy from the manufacturer and upgrade whenever I want. However, iPhones and smartphones in general are able to last a lot longer these days. So a three years with the same phone isn't too shabby. Those are the best iPhone deals for AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. If you wanna see more deals, you can head to whistleout.com. I'm linking it up here where we have the best deals lined up for you. And we update this weekly so you know that you're getting the best deal possible and save the most amount of money and especially around the holiday season i know that is important to stretch your dollar as far as it can go i'm sherry thanks for watching whistle out tv i am your telecom expert